Hello, sweet souls. This will be um, your reading for December 3rd, Friday. Um, it'll be a full-length version on YouTube. So if you're interested, head over there and watch the full-length version. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, you can follow the link in TikTok in the description box and YouTube. If you have any questions or concerns, you can send me a message. I have extended my um, hours for reading, so... We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. Um, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit angels and saints and ask them um, what we need to know for our greater good. And we are going to ask past, present, and future again. Okay, so we're going to look at the past first. past energy you had someone trying to rush in um, this person was spying on you if you um, have an online account they were watching you trying to get information and what they were seeing in the past was your level up they were seeing you in this power this person um, is heavy in regret from the past this is past energy because they didn't give to you equally and they know they didn't um, you know the past energy as well as you finding peace in your life you moving away from a situation that was not uh, for your greater good and you finding your own peace. So we're gonna do present now. In the present moment, you are not um, entertaining the thought of a passionate new beginning. You are not allowing a passionate new beginning uh, to come in with this person from the past. And you no longer have any feelings of regret or sitting in a lack mindset. You have released that, which in the present moment has left someone else that is very dishonest to feel very trapped. Very trapped, stuck in their situation, stuck in their life. And it's because this person has so many secrets that are hidden. Um, also in the present moment, uh, many of you have divine love coming in. Divine love. So let's see what's coming in the near future. Wow, guys. Near future soulmate. A true divine counterpart coming in. For some of you, you have, may, may have already met this soulmate. Um, in the near future, this is just going to be, um, it's going to go further. It's going to go to a higher level of commitment. Um, it is divinely guided. Some of you may, in the near future, be getting engaged. Wow. Okay. So in the near future, you will, um, this person from this past has caused, wreaked so much havoc in your life because they were a player. Um, you are witness that this person will be taken advantage of financially. This is in the near future. This is part of their karma. And this is something that you will be made aware of. Divine timing was at play. Also in the very, the very near future, gosh, oh, you guys, you're a powerful manifester. You are manifesting and calling into your life, fortune, fame, um, security, a faded union, stability, a committed partnership, uh, a marriage, like I said. This is coming in the near future. Um, I want to pull some advice cards real quick to see. That's amazing, guys. And that's what I felt. When that second row came out, that's what I felt was coming in. It is amazing. So let's get some advice. Okay. 
Okay, the advice is you are ready for this brand new beginning in your life. You're ready. Um, you are recovering from the past and all the pain that you've endured. The angels and saints are giving you signs. They're guiding you. They're encouraging you. They're cheering you on. And big happy changes are coming, which is amazing. You have big happy changes coming. So be patient. Okay, so let's do the love oracle. Wow, that came out quick. I'm gonna get one more. This says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. This is you using your discernment, who it is that you allow into your energy and who you don't. Love is the only answer, but not everyone is worthy of your love. So use discernment. This is freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. You are free from your past. You are finally free and you need to embrace that freedom, that liberation, that remember how it felt to be in a, in a relationship or a partnership where you couldn't be your true authentic self, where someone dictated you what you did, who you were, what you wore, what you spoke, how you acted, how much you weighed. You are free of that energy. So you need to really embrace that feeling of being free and, and give thanks and gratitude for all that you went through that got you into this place that where you're at now. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. If it feels hard right now because you're still healing, you have to remain positive. You have to live in a place of gratitude and remain positive so that you vibrate at a high level to call in what is already meant for you quickly. Because the more you sit in the sorrow or thoughts of the past, the longer you drag out um, your blessings coming to you because your energy is just is low. So you're going to get exactly what it is you send out energetically. So... bottom of the deck look deep within your heart you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean this is the soulmate the soulmate that's entering your life communicating in the 5d world to you so you guys i hope this reading helped you i love you um i hope you have an amazing day and um i will see you tomorrow bye bye